Stephen, uh, now, uh, Anthony Albanese has today stopped short of actually calling for the resignation of uh, Victorian CFMEU boss John Setka after Setka reportedly told a national meeting of unionists that men have fewer rights since Rosie Batty raised awareness about the scourge of domestic abuse in Australia. Here's what Anthony Albanese said. They're totally unacceptable. If that is what is said, let's be very clear. Rosie Batty, John Secker, I'm on Rosie Batty's side. She's a great Australian. She deserves the respect and thanks of every Australian and deserves better than to be criticised by anyone in our community. It's a, it's a real issue, isn't it, at the moment for the, for the Labor Party, particularly in Victoria. I mean, Setka, he's got a rap sheet as long as your arm. I mean, you've now got the alternative Prime Minister weighing into the debate. Um, is there a future for John Setka in the CFMEU? Well, I think he's been elected by his members. Uh, I think there's an election next year. I think his comments were careless and foolish. I think they were unhelpful to uh, his case. He's got his own personal matters, which I don't want to comment on at the moment, because they are still, I believe, before the court. I think they have tinged his uh, response. I think he should probably focus on the people who have been causing uh, all the publicity around it, because uh, there's a lot more to this game uh, than... Uh, than is being said publicly, but fundamentally Albo's right. Uh, his comments are distasteful. Most Australians will be on the side of Rosie Batty rather than John Setka. Uh, so I think Albo's hit the right, hit the right note there. David, uh, I mean, uh, Setka has indicated that he will plead guilty uh, next month to using a carriage service to harass a woman. Uh, we've seen some fairly thuggish behaviour, particularly in Queensland, uh, this CFMEU mob, uh, they play for keeps. Um, I mean, I just find it incredible that a bloke who's uh, such a public figure and says something so irresponsible, um, you know, doesn't fall on his sword. I, I mean, it was less than a month ago than the ALP in the campaign, admittedly under Bill Shorten, had, their, had a women's launch in Victoria. Um, at that, they said, you, you know, we're not going to turn a blind eye to domestic violence and some of the things that, that um, you know, have, have sort of come up around, that's, that have swirled around and um, have involved this guy from the CFMEU. His comments today around Rosie Batty are certainly along the same lines as that. I mean, it, it, at some point, someone's going to have to, you know, basically bring the hammer down on this bloke or you can essentially, you know, dismiss everything they've said in policy launches as being really just for political gain and they don't go to any kind of principle. So at some point, I guess this is going to be the test, you know, post-court post, post uh, court case with, with Mr Setka, um, there's going to have to be some real action within the ALP around this guy. And, and if, if history is any, is any guide on this, it, it, it's shown that, that that doesn't happen um, because at the end of the day... The, the union movement controls um, both the factions and pre-selections, and members have been very, very reluctant to get into uh, calling for the uh, the sacking of any of any union leader.